Hey guys, Chris from Provo Beast Audio Installation coming at you with another radio demo. Today we're checking out this giant 10 and a half inch full HD float mount radio. Now in this unboxing, we're gonna show you everything that this kit comes with. We're gonna even get the radio booted up so you can check it out for yourself. Let's get started. Now before we dive into it, a couple of things to note here on the box. Uh, with this 10 and a half inch screen, it does feature a single din chassis uh, for the radio with the detachable flow mount screen. That flow mount has a volume knob, which is awesome, and it does claim 60 watts peak power per channel. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into this box. So with the box all pulled apart, here are the accessories that are included with this radio. You have your main wiring harness, which is diagrammed on top of the radio itself, so you know the function of each wire color. You have a secondary harness with secondary connections. You have a USB extension cable. You have mounting hardware. It comes with a remote. Also comes with a backup camera and camera harness, a panel tool, stereo keys and a user manual also included is a radio metal can or a sleeve that's already mounted within the radio itself now at this point in time we do have the radio chassis the main radio itself and the screen separated to separate them it's easy basically you grab both these sides pull these apart and those release mechanisms allow the screen to come out of the chassis itself it's quite heavy and so you'll need to make sure this is securely mounted within your dash here on the front of the radio, you have a reset button, an aux input, an SD card slot. Like we mentioned before, you have your main release tabs here, your release mechanism. And then on the right hand side, you have two USB ports, one of which is designated for a 2.1 amp output for faster charging for your phone devices. It does come preloaded with a trim piece that can be removed if this is being mounted within a dash kit. Profile wise, it's a shorter chassis because it doesn't house any sort of CD drive. Has multiple threaded screw locations depending on the dash kit that this is being installed to, which is awesome. Now looking on the back of the unit here, uh, starting on the left hand side is your accessory port where you can find your parking brake wire, amplifier trigger wire, things like that. To the right of that is an onboard 15 amp fuse. And then to the right of that is your main harness connector. Starting at the very top left hand corner of our RCA connections, the red and the white RCA output is actually for your rear pre-outs for an amplifier. And your front connections are actually right here. Your subwoofer output connection is that green one. It's a mono sub out. The second row, we have two yellows side by side, and those are video outputs in case you add secondary screens within your vehicle. And then the white and the red that's tucked in there on the right hand side, those are specifically for video in. So if you want to feed your screen with an analog video input, you can do so with its paired video input right there as well. And then finally, the bottom left hand corner is your reverse camera input. And you can also install a front camera input with this yellow RCA as well. Now it only includes one camera within the box designated for a reverse camera. We can always purchase a second camera for a front camera function as well. Finally, up underneath these, we have our AM FM Motorola antenna input, as well as an external mic input in case you purchase one separately. Now let's take a look at the screen. The screen itself, once again, is measured 10 and a half inches diagonally from corner to corner. There are no hard buttons on the front of the unit. There are soft touch buttons that will illuminate as soon as the radio boots up. Nice big pro about this is the large volume knob that's located here. It also clicks as well. There is a mic built into the front as well as the receiver for your remote. Now at the back of the unit itself, uh, it does have a full slide mechanism which allows you to position the screen higher or lower and it also has a swivel up and down. All right, so with the radio all booted up here, this is our home screen with 
the various apps available on the unit. Let's click on our radio function. You have your track forward and back, your presets. You all have FM 1, 2, and 3, as well as AM 1 and 2. You have a quick jump to your EQ. You can manually type in the frequency, and you can also adjust the brightness right here on the screen, as well as a quick jump to your home screen. Click on our Bluetooth, different various Bluetooth options with a phone connected. Phone link is the access to your Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. USB if you have any available USB and SD card units. AV input, front camera input, quick jump to your settings menu here. Various settings depending on where you're located and how you want to set up your unit. Let's go ahead now and jump into our equalizer. There are various different preset EQ curves here. You can fit some to your liking, adjust the loudness, type, field, fader, balance. You can customize that to your liking. You can change wallpaper here on the unit to various different colors. And finally for steering wheel controls, you can program those steering wheel controls to this new radio and save them here. Let's go ahead and test out our CarPlay. Go ahead and click on the phone link here with our Apple phone connected and CarPlay boots up. It's actually pretty smooth and seamless and works great. Now that is it for this radio unboxing and demo. We like the way that this one turned out. Highly recommend it for the price. We can link it down in the description of this video. If you want to see any similar ones like we've done here on the channel, we'll also link those units down in the description. If you need help installing your backup camera on your video, we have various your make and model videos of backup camera installs, which can walk you through step by step on how to install one on your vehicle as well. Thanks again for watching. Be sure to hit the like button if you like what you saw, and don't forget to subscribe to post great content on the channel all the time. We will see you in the next video.